Um, so this is hard to disagree. Canada is going to win the World Cup. Second, Mogwi <laughs> says, say we draw a French team at some point and you have that one who shall not be named barreling down the left flank. Would Carvajal still be our best option to keep the damage to a minimum or are we going to see the resurgence of the Rudiger at right back thing or would Nacho be higher up in that pecking order? Thank you. Keep up the fantastic work. Thanks, Mogwi. I can see the Rudiger point, not the Nacho or Vazquez. Uh... I, I still trust Carvajal after what he did in the in the last stages of the Champions League last season. I think as he's had some kind of uh, resurgence over the last few months. He's first of all he's been able to stay healthy. I think he's uh, he's been a very uh, important player player for Real Madrid in the in recent months. I think he's been kind of an unsung hero for the team and also between the fan base just because of his track record in recent years, which was obviously terrible. So I would probably still um, start Carvajal against uh, against the one who shall not be named. But I can see the Rudiger point. I can see it. I, I just think that planning uh, for... That would be a, a little bit too much planning for the opposition here, in my opinion. I still trust Carvajal just because of, you know, Rodriguez obviously wouldn't be able to be to contribute as much as Carvajal offensively, but maybe in Paris, away from the Bernabeu, I can see the Rudiger point. Uh, I haven't I haven't thought about it just because obviously the draw is in out. We don't even know who, who Real Madrid will be playing. But, you know, for an away game in Paris first leg, maybe I can see the conservative option of starting Rudiger on the right back just to, you know, to keep uh, everything a little bit more under control. Obviously, because also he's very physical and, and quick. So he should be able to contain uh, Mbappe a little bit more. So I can see the point. I can see the point for an away game in Paris. I'm not a fan of it. Um, and this is coming from someone who's been pretty critical of Carvajal the last few games. One, because it's not Rudiger's natural position. It's not his best position by, at all. Um, two is that I have zero concerns over Carvajal's work ethic with, and leadership in the Absolutely. big game. You know, he might have a bad game, but he won't have a game where he's not Absolutely. putting his heart on the pitch. I think that matters. And, and also, th- point number three is that you're going to have Mendy starting at left back for sure. So that's if you have Rudiger and Mendy, that's two wing backs who can't attack. It's pretty problematic. Like the one the, thinking back to that game in Paris last year, one of our biggest problems among many was that we could not even escape our half. And Ashraf and uh, uh, Mendez is, is a left back. I'm, I'm trying to remember the young left back. Yes, yes, yes. Um, those two were pinning us um, and, and pinning our wing backs, and, and we just couldn't escape our, our half. Our transition offense was bad, our intensity was off. And and so I, I'm just not in favor of that. Now I could I could see a scenario where maybe you have one half or 65 minutes where Carvajal is struggling, keeping up. Got to protect the lead and all that. Yeah. So I I have full faith in Rudiger to play as a right back and lock down a winger. I could I could see him do that. I don't. I wouldn't expect much from him offensively, although he does do that thing where he runs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Runs yeah, up yeah, the yeah. field and he does his thing. Um, uh, I guess another point is that this is part of the reason why Fede Valverde and mm-hmm. is on that side mm-hmm. to to protect and and help defend too. So I I'd, I still prefer Carvajal. I do have to say that Rudiger would be behind Carvajal if Carvajal weren't to be healthy, fresh, ready, or available for that game. Like I wouldn't I I would put. Rudiger ahead of uh, Vazquez and, and Nacho in this context for that kind of matchup. That's that's for sure. Like Rudiger would be second. Will Sousa says, hey, Keon and Lucas. So I have a two-part question. With the likes of Endrick and Bellingham being linked to us even more now than um, even more now that we have all of our three of our non-EU spots free, where does that leave the likes of our other players like Reynier and Vinicius Tobias? 